Okay, so you need to be open to page 147 of your learn books. And right next to it, you should see a blank page, and we're gonna work on here real quick. So go ahead and just look at your blank page right next to your page 147. Yeah. And we're just gonna do a quick little practice from what we've been learning um, this past week. So I'm gonna give you a little scenario. And you're gonna have to listen to it. So this weekend, I'm going to my little cousin's party. And I offered to bring some horchata. So at first I thought, at first I thought, okay, I'm gonna just buy some from the store, get like a carton, but then I thought, I don't want that. Like I wanna actually make it, make it authentic. So I started looking up some recipes and I just wanted to know like how many liters I was gonna have overall. But the fractions were just messed up on my recipe. So I need your help to figure out how many liters. Okay. One milliliter. So the first thing it told me was I need two fifths liters of water. So two fifths liters of water. I'm gonna write that down. Two four fifths. Fifths liters of water. I need two fifths liters of water. And then it said I need seven tenths liters of milk. So two fifths liters of water, seven tenths liters of milk. So if I put both of these together, how many liters will I have overall? Go ahead and just take some time to solve that. Remember, we don't have common denominators right now. So what should we do? Yeah, think of that. I have five as one of my denominators. I have 10. Okay, so what should my first step be? Oh, Edward. First, your first um, step should be multiplying multiplying uh, five to ten. Oh, so you're gonna find your common denominator, which was what number? Ten. Ten. Okay, so I'm gonna have two fifths. And what am I gonna do? Times two. Times two. And whatever I do to the bottom, I, I do, do, the the top. do to the top. So two times two is four. four. <laughs> You do, you do 
put water and milk, and then you put a whole bunch of other stuff too. Oh yeah, sugar, sugar, cookies, sugar canela, yeah, all that. Okay, so we are on page 147. Okay, so it says, draw a tape diagram to represent each atom. Decompose one of the tape diagrams to make like units, then write a complete number sentence, use a number bond to write each sum as a sum. So that's a lot. So we're just going to start with the first one. Draw a tape diagram to represent each atom. So we have three fourths plus one half. So let's start with three fourths. And we're going to draw our tape diagram. And since my fraction is three fourths, how many equal parts do I need to have in four. my tape diagram? Four. Four. I need four equal parts. One, two, three, four. And I have three out of the four, so that means I need to shade three of my boxes. So that's my first add-in. Add -in. So let's go to our second. One half. So I'm going to write one half. Draw my second tape diagram. And how many equal parts do I need to break this one into? One, two, one, two. One, two. Because it's one half. My denominator is two, so that means two equal parts. And I have one out of the half, so I need to color that in as well. Shade in one part. Next up, decompose one of the tape diagrams to make like units. So right now we have four units on our top and two units at our bottom. So what do we have to do to our bottom to make it like units? We have to make it to four. Split. Split. So we're going to split. We're going to split one part in half and our next half. Now it's equals to two. Points. So now we have one, two, three, four equal parts now. And looking at that, what is our new fraction going to be? How many parts do we have shaded? Two. two. We have two. Four. Let me do this. So I have two. And then how many parts do I have all together? One, two, three, four. four. So I know three. Or sorry, I know one half is also equal to two four. Equal to two. And now we have our next part. Then write a complete number sentence. So now they want us to rewrite our number sentence using the like denominator. So we have three fourths, which was our first one. And we know that one half is equal to two fourths, so we're going to use two fourths. Because again, we want our common denominators. And now we just add. What's three plus two? Five. One four and five four. And we keep our denominators since we're adding, and we have five four. So one whole element. Yeah, we're one almost four. done. That's why that's our last step. Use a number bond to write each sum as a mixed number. Last part. Number bond. So we're going to make our number bond. Okay, we have five fours. What's going to make our whole? Four fours. Four fours. Four fours. We have four fours. And one four. And, one and then we have the four fours. And, and to get to that five, we need one, one more. One four. So our leftover one is four. one so four. One, one. And our answer is going to be one, one whole, one, and our leftover, one four. Yeah, why does that come on my arm? Yes. It's very similar to what we've been doing. going to first draw a tape diagram to represent each atom. Yes. <coughs> why do we have to multiply the number? Which number did we multiply here? No, but why do you have to multiply? 
well, how much, we had one half right here, two was our denominator. How many did we have to get to four? Two times what to get to four? Two, so that's how we got the one half. We have two times two is four, and the one times two is six. They're just equivalent fractions. Yeah, or we did our tape diagram to show it. So we're on part B, we have two thirds, so we're gonna write two thirds, and now we're gonna draw our tape diagram for that. So my denominator is three, so that means I'm going to part this into three equal parts. So I'll have one, two, three equal parts. So I have two thirds, so that means I'm going to shade in two of these three parts. <clears throat> now I'm going to move on to my second add-in now, three six. So again, I have my page diagram. I have six as my denominator, so that means I'm going to separate this into six equal parts now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. With three shaded with three shaded in. And now that we have to do that, we have to decompose our tape diagram. So which 